Valentine, Valentine, hey, Valentine, 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 Valentine. Lacking. Hope you guys are good. Welcome back to my channel guys. In today's video, I am here to share all the tea on how to be single and secure. Because we don't just secure bags, we secure ourselves in our singleness. Okay. As you guys know, we're in February. We're in that season and that mood of love. There's just romance everywhere. Couple goals everywhere. Everyone's loved up and booed up and bathed up and there's all these couples getting ready to celebrate valentine's day valentine valentine hey valentine 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 meanwhile our single babes out here we have no vows no land and no time but that's all good though for me personally i am going into my 16th year of not having a val a len or a tine okay yes i have been single for a very very long time i actually can't remember the last time i even celebrated valentine's day at this point valentine's day is literally just another regular day there are two questions that i always get asked when people find out how long i've been single for and that is why and how now in response to these questions with the why i tend to go into a whole story of my journey of being single for this long and the reasons why and in terms of how i noticed that people who do ask me how have i managed to be single for this long and be okay with it it tends to come from a place on their part where they're either struggling with being single or maybe disliking being single and they kind of see me as someone that appears to be quite secure in my singleness and quite happy and not necessarily bothered by how long I've been single for. So with that, I thought it would be good for me to actually share the things that I have learned and discovered in my journey of being single for almost 16 years and really try and give those of you who are finding singleness difficult or disliking being single and give you guys some tips on how to be single and secure. So if you are someone who struggles with being single, you are tired, fed up of being single, want to be in a relationship, this video is for you. So let's get into it. So the tips I'm going to be sharing with you about how to be single and secure, I've split them up into two categories. The first one is things that you need to know and the second category are things that you need to do. In order to be single and secure, here are the things that you need to know. First things first, you need to know that being single is not a disease, being single is not a crime, being single is not an act of terrorism and the length of time that you have been single does not mean that there's something wrong with you or that you are unable to be loved. It also doesn't mean that you are unable to get into a relationship. Period. It's actually so ridiculous to me that I even have to say that. There are so many people who actually believe that being single is a problem or that you being single is an issue when it really isn't. So many people actually have this really weird and warped mindset that being single is like the most like horrible thing in the world that needs to be fixed and that there's something wrong with you. Some of you might have even clicked on this video with that mindset deep in the back of your mind and you're hoping that the things I'm sharing with you in this video is going to somehow fix you and then you automatically wake up tomorrow and be in a relationship. This mindset that being single means that something is wrong with you is not healthy and it's a lie from the pit of hell. The devil is a mother liar. Be Don't ever let anyone try to shame you for being single. There's absolutely nothing wrong with being single. There are so many people that are in relationships and their relationships are trash. It's actually better off being single than being in a relationship that serves no purpose and is costing you your peace of mind and costing you way too much. Your worth and your value as a person is not defined by whether or not you're in a relationship. We all end this earth as single individuals
individual beings and we will all be leaving this earth as single individual beings. Being single doesn't stop you from flourishing in life, being single doesn't stop you from being the person that God has created you to be and don't ever let anyone make you feel less than just because you're single. So that's the first thing. Know that God has a reason for every season of your life, including your season of singleness. In every season of our lives, there are things that we learn and there are things that we experience. No matter what season your life is in, there are things that you will experience that will teach you things about yourself, that will teach you things about others and that will help you to grow. Ultimately, God is in control and ultimately, there is a time for everything. No matter what season of your life that you're going through understand that there's a reason for that season there are things that you're going to discover there are things that you're going to learn there are things that you're going to unlearn and your season of singleness is a great time for you to really learn and grow and really get to do so many things including the things that i'm sharing with you guys in this video Part of your journey of learning and discovering during your time of being single is knowing your worth then doubling it. Know your worth, then double it. If you do not know your worth, there is no way that anyone else is gonna be able to fully know your worth. You have to know your worth. You have to know your value as a person. You have to know your worth. And when you know your value and you know your worth, it is so much easier for you to be able to recognize when someone else doesn't. Knowing your worth is such a powerful position to be in while you're single. Knowing your worth is building your self-esteem. Knowing your worth is building your inner confidence. Knowing your worth is understanding your value, having standards. Girl, when you know your worth, do you think a guy can just come into your life and start treating you anyhow? You have the power to be able to recognize when someone is trying to devalue you or trying to take advantage of you or trying to minimize you when you know that you deserve deserve better and that you want better for yourself. You don't have to accept the bare minimum because you know what you deserve. Having standards will help you to identify people who try to come into your life and don't have standards themselves and are more likely to want to take advantage of you. Ain't nobody got time for that. And this is not about being overly arrogant or looking down on other people or esteeming yourself to be better than anyone else. It's simply a self-confidence and an ability to recognize when other people may mistreat you because you don't know your value and you don't know your worth. So, know your worth and double it, okay? Know your purpose, then walk in it. Part of being single and secure is knowing your purpose and walking in it. Your season of being single is a great time for you to discover what your purpose is. What is it that God has placed on the inside of you to do here on this earth? What is your purpose? What are the things that are in your heart that you want to do and that you want to achieve with your life? Before you enter a relationship, it's really, really important for you to understand your purpose and understand where you want to go in life, where you want to be in life, and what you want to do with your life. How will you know if someone's a great fit for you when you don't even know where you're going, what you're doing, and how you're navigating your life? I know for me personally, knowing my purpose has been a journey. Knowing my purpose and understanding what it is that God wants me to do and understanding how to use the things that God has given me and to really walk in my purpose has been a journey. During my time of being single, that understanding has been able to grow and develop. That vision has become more clearer and it has really helped me to really feel more secure within myself knowing that I have a vision for my life and I have something that I'm working towards I've really been able to benefit from the years that I've been single I think it's really important to really utilize your time of being single to seek after the things that God wants you to do with your life and make sure that you are walking in alignment with God and that you are allowing God to guide you in the decisions of your life and the things that you are doing yes God may have a purpose for you in marriage with your partner when that time comes but before that happens God already has a purpose for you as an individual person and while you're in the season of being single this is a great time for you to really focus on that seeking to do the things that God has purposed you to do being everything that God has purposed you to be really get to know your 
yourself really get to know who you are what it is that you have been placed on this earth to do and to achieve knowing who you are is knowing your love language and loving yourself with it know your love language i think it's so so important for every single person to know their love language know how they like to be loved not only understand your love language and love yourself with it but also understand the love language of those around you the people that you love and you care for around you and learn to love them in their love language as well what is your love language do you know your love language if you don't know what your love language is go on the internet type in five love languages and take a quiz to understand what your main love language is or what your top three love languages are i think it's really really important to know what your love language is in order to understand how you like to be loved and also be able to love yourself in that love language you cannot expect someone else to love you the way that you want to be loved when you don't love yourself in the way that you desire to be loved As well as knowing your love language and loving yourself you also need to know yourself know yourself intimately and deeply take the time to really get to know you i know for me when i ended my last relationship i knew that for the first few years of me being single i really needed that time to really get to know me i needed to get to know who is amina who is she who am i who is she i wasn't interested in being in another relationship i wasn't interested in trying to get to know anyone because i needed to get to know me i've grown so much from the person that i was when i was 16 to who i was at 20 21 and even now at 35 i'm still getting to know the woman that i am and the woman that i'm becoming the person i was from the age of 16 to 20 in the relationship that i was in is not the same person that i am now romantic relationships will teach you things about yourself but you can also learn so much about yourself from non-romantic relationships around you you, your relationships with your friends and with your family your colleagues your co-workers you won't learn everything that there is to know about yourself just from a romantic relationship understand that there are non-romantic relationships that can equally teach you so much about yourself there are also so many things that you will go through and experience in life while you're single that will also teach you about yourself so don't rush the process allow yourself to know yourself deeply and intimately Girl, you need to know the difference between needing a man and wanting a man. There's so much power in understanding the difference between needing and wanting. You do not need a man, you want a man. You don't need a relationship, you want a relationship. Being single and secure is understanding that you deciding to allow someone into your life to be romantically involved with is you deciding that you want that person in your life rather than you need that person in your life. Needing a relationship and needing a man can cause you to enter a relationship that could become very unhealthy, very toxic and very abusive. Being single and secure is being able to have the power to decide who you want in your life every december people are cutting people off people are saying i don't need this person i don't need that person we are all very familiar with the idea of cutting people out of our lives because we don't want them in our lives they're not serving a purpose or they're mistreating us or they're abusing us or they're not treating us the way that we should be treated or we feel as though their presence in our lives is not positive we're quick to cut them off and to decide that we no longer want them in our lives now this works in the same way when it comes to deciding who you want in your life as a romantic partner being single and secure is understanding that when you want someone in your life you want them because you see their value you see their worth and you see that them being in your life is a great addition to the life that you already have you have to get to a point in singlehood where you are happy in your own self and happy with your life and 
the life that you have to be able to recognize when you actually want someone else to be part of that life because you actually value that person and you want them to be in your life that is a much healthier way of entering a relationship as opposed to feeling like you need someone in your life or that you need a relationship because you feel that that relationship or that person is going to all of a sudden make you happy and fix you and make you be this person that you think that you need to be you should never need a relationship in order to fix you or to make you better or to make you whole it's such a huge responsibility to place on someone you shouldn't need a relationship you shouldn't need a man rather you wants to be in a relationship and you want that man because they've proven to be good to you and they've proven that they are deserving to be in your life the power is with you you have the power and you have the control in deciding who you want to be in your life and that includes the person that you decide to be in a romantic relationship with and when that decision comes from a place of being secure within yourself you are more likely to appreciate that person in a healthy way and that person will also recognize that you appreciate them in a healthy way as opposed to being a burden and someone that is just needy and wants to be in a relationship for the sake of being in a relationship because they can't stand being by themselves the moment that you start to feel like you need a relationship or that you need a man that is the moment where you are treading on dangerous territory because now you are now giving away your power in a sense where you are making it seem as though this other person is the be all and end all of your life which is not the case you are more than a relationship you are more than the person that you end up being in a romantic relationship with being in a place of neediness means that there is room for you to make decisions out of desperation or making decisions that are rash decisions that probably don't really make sense and you kind of know that it doesn't make sense but you're just doing it anyway because you just want to fill this void and then you might find that even in getting to that relationship or that situationship the void is still there because you haven't really dealt with the root issue and you're kind of dealing with that need in a way that is not satisfying you can desire a relationship without feeling like you need a relationship you can desire to have a partner you can desire to want to get married without feeling like you need these things in order to be whole or complete or happy or in order to even have any form of value or worth as a person and so many of us get into situationships and entertain guys that we know that this is not even going anywhere but then you continue to entertain these things out of that need when someone like myself has been single for a very long time if I wanted to be in a relationship with someone I would have been in a relationship by now coming from a place of security as opposed to a place of being needy and being insecure and that leads on to my next point which is knowing that your happiness is not dependent on any sole human being your happiness is dependent on you and God you have to learn to be happy within yourself you have to be able to experience happiness without being in a relationship you have to be able to experience the kind of happiness that is not attached to one sole human being you have to be happy with yourself and in yourself the source of your happiness has to come from you do you make you happy do you make yourself happy do you enjoy being by yourself do you enjoy time by yourself to yourself do you enjoy your own company do you enjoy the person that you are and the person that you are becoming you can't expect other people to make you happy when you yourself are not actively seeking to make yourself happy find happiness in the things that you do while you are single so that when you do end up in a relationship the person that you end up with is adding to your happiness as opposed to being your happiness let the source of your happiness come from you and within and for me personally 
Secondly, my joy comes from the Lord. And it's a kind of joy that surpasses all understanding. It's a kind of joy that no matter what I'm going through in life, I know that God is with me. And that is a joy that nobody on this planet can ever give to me. Me experiencing happiness is me doing things that make me happy. Also making sure that I have people in my life that add to my happiness instead of placing your happiness on one sole individual that's not even in your life yet. Know that your happiness comes from within you. And when it comes to romantic relationships, anyone that you decide to have in your life will be an addition to your happiness as opposed to being the only source of your happiness. All right, guys, I'm going to stop this video here because I want to be able to go into the things that you need to do in a separate video, part two of how to be single and secure. In this video, we have covered the key things that you need to know. And in the next video, I'm going to be talking about the things that you need to do because we're about that action. We be knowing things and we be doing things. So now that we know some things, in the next video, we're going to do some things. Okay, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications for when I upload my next video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys!